The Lucid Colossus Harvester's Pack might be everything that you've been looking for when it comes to unrealistic farming. But there are some things that this pack includes now that you may not know about. So today, we're gonna take a look at all of these. In early 2024, this pack was updated to version number 5, which was dubbed the Vineyard Update. However, this change log on Mod Hub did not include everything that was added. So let's jump in and take a look at some of the stuff that you may have missed. First, we've got unrealistic working widths, which have been added to every unrealistic header. So if you have a normal header, doesn't have this, but if you go with the unreal or unrealistic, you've got things like this one, which has a 50 meter unrealistic working width. The corn head has a few other ones. We have 25 and 50 on this one, 25 and 50 on the Titan Draper, 10, 20 and 50 on the potato and sugar beets, 15, 25 and 50 on cotton harvester, 25 and 50 on the forage header, 10, 20 and 50 on poplars, 10, 20 and 50 on sugarcane. And of course, you've already seen the updates to the uh, mulcher, the vineyard pruner and the disc, which were shown off in the update. Now, if you go with one of these headers, you're also going to need crop guides. That's where the unrealistic crop guides come in. We've got red, green, blue, yellow, white, or none. If you really want to go with none. Having these really helps out, and those were the little arrows that I was showing at the uh, beginning of the video. One other thing that was added with this update is grass has been added to the Titan Forager unrealistic. So if you go with this, you can actually harvest grass. You can do it at 50 meters and, and you could do it super duper fast, which is so cool. We've also got some new cameras that have been added to the grape and olive harvester. So if we go and cycle through the cameras, of course we have exterior and interior, but now we have a center row harvester. So let's well, say harvester. So there's my dude, but this is right over the center. So now you can get centered right up on those to be good. And the only other thing that was not announced in the changelog is the pruner. They can now be doubled up. So you can put one on the front, one on the back, and do double pruning. All at the same time, two rows instead of one. Very cool. So let's show off a couple of these. Let's start with the grain heads. Now, I'm going to go with the Titan Draper Unreal. We're going 50 meter unrealistic, and we're going to go for blue lines in the field. Got me a harvester to match. With these, all of the headers that you use the uh, the lines on the end will need to be unfolded. This one specifically does need to be unfolded because it, well, has to fold the wheels away. But we also get our blue lines there at the end. Uh, I have gone for a straw swath because I want to see how hilarious this is. So let's drop it down. I'm not doing anything while I'm crazy. I'm not enabling my fast farming mod. This is just how fast it's going to go. Uh, there's our straw swath, and we can kind of keep an eye on the very end right there. Uh, I'm harvesting the largest field on the horse map. Yeah, uh, I could probably do this, and it'd only take me about 10 minutes. Mods like this were one of the original reasons why I started playing on PC versus playing on console. However, now, uh, it doesn't really matter. You could just go for it and have some fun. And if you're curious, that's what one pass around this field looks like. It's... It's so crazy. So you wouldn't believe me if I told you, uh, but this entire field took me about 10 minutes. Actually, a little bit less than 10 minutes. <laughs> That's so stupid. Now, corn is the same way. We've got the same setups here. I'm going with the corn header unrealistic. So we have our standard setup, but we also have the 25 and 50 on here. Let's go with 25. It's a little bit lower, but you've seen uh, that. Let's go with, well, I would say yellow, but we need something that's going to shine through the corn. Let's go with red. This header is another one of the ones where you have to unfold it in order to use it in the game. Now, this goes, I think, a little bit faster than the base game one. And whenever this is done, boop, we got our 25 meter working with there. Let's go ahead and just run amok here. And you can see we've got our 25 meter working with. And we can knock this field out pretty darn fast. Now, can you use these headers with any combine harvesters? Absolutely. I wouldn't, but you can. I'm really trying to record this whole video, but all I want to do is just do this. It's so much fun. How's about some potatoes? You could do this with any of the ground crops, but uh, we are going to choose this. Uh, we're just going to go with a 10 meter here. We could do 20 or 50 as well, but I think we're just going to do this. Uh, and then... Well, say that's white. That is chrome is what that is. Uh, let's go with yellow. I think that's going to work great here. Now, this header actually comes standard with the uh, lights on because folded, it actually folds up. And, well, that would cause some serious trouble. So we won't worry about that. Jump around through here, drop it down, and then there we go. We've got our 10 meter potato harvester. We could probably do it a little bit from the interior, but 
and we're not going to worry about that. And remember, I'm I'm not using a fast farming mod. I, I'm just using this mod. We're sitting here harvesting potatoes at almost 70 miles an hour. It's ridiculous. Hey, let's see if we can just run through the whole thing. Yay! I thought there was a, a like a limit on how fast this could go. Maybe it's 90? That's as fast as I'm able to go here. Oh, it, it is. It is 90. Wow. Cotton harvesters are not new for this pack, but what is new is the working width. So we have the uh, 15, 25, and 50. I want to see what 50 looks like on here. And then we have our unrealistic crop guides here as well. You see they're like way out there in the corner. <laughs> There's physically not enough room in the shop to show off the... That's so dumb. Uh, let's see, let's change these to maybe red. Might be able to see in the cotton with the red. One thing with the cotton harvester, this may be a mod conflict that I'm having, but since folding's not allowed, all you gotta do is hit hire worker. What that's gonna do is it's gonna put it into position for you and, and you'll be just fine. There we go, it's got that. And uh, let's see, still not getting my, my working bits on the end. Yeah, well, they uh, came on as soon as I started harvesting, or, or maybe I couldn't see them. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Oh, it's so much fun. Look at this. I mean, we've already almost got our first bill ready to go. <laughs> let's see if I can do this. Can we hang around there? Look at that. Yeah, man. Yeah. There we go. Cotton's ready. Cotton's ready. Actually, I filled it up too fast. I filled up the harvester too fast. It couldn't do it. There we go. Drop, drop that. And, uh, and then now we're going again. It's filling up the other bit. And I'm almost filling up the front as fast as it could fill up the back to, to drop another bale. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Oh, and by the way, uh, you can hire workers for these too. Like all of these headers, they work with workers. <laughs> now, remember I was talking about grass doing the forage harvester header? Well, we could do that, and we're going to show you that here. Uh, we have 25 and 50 meter unrealistic worker widths. We also have a 9 meter worker width. If you just want to go with a standard, I'm, I'm going with 25. And then we need to find something that'll show off well in the grass. So I think white will probably do the trick there. We're also going to be utilizing a new trailer that came with the pack. This guy, the Titan Trailer. So we have a bulk setup, a 20,000 liter, that we could do half a million or we could do 5 million liter capacity. <laughs> yeah, we're doing 5 million. I, I don't know if you know me very well or not, but uh, yeah, we've, we've done 5 million. Five minutes. We're gonna utilize the same setup to basically do the whole thing. It's going to pick up grass. It is going to harvest the grass. Actually, we can, I need to get through here first. And yes, those are quadruple wheels on the front. And I don't even know if those will fit through the gate. Well, the answer to that is no. Come on. Hey, yeah, maybe it's yes. All right, let's unfold here. So this will mow now and it will do it up to 50 meters. So all grass within 50 meters of me will be mown. And there's our, oh no, 25. I can't remember which one I did. Let's, uh, let's harvest, baby, yeah! So there you go, you can see we are mowing everything that can be mowed, and it is depositing all of the grass into the back. So if you've ever wanted to mow and make it easy on yourself, boy oh boy has, has something come up to make that easy for you. We do have a nice, I don't know if that's a mower or a force harvester header, Sam? I don't really do forge stuff in the game, so it's a new sound for me for sure. Every once in a while you may also see like a little line get missed. That is usually due to a frame rate drop. Uh, I, of course I would have them here. The funniest thing is I'm not even in the field. Look at this. <laughs> I'm just all over the place. I'm like, ooh, there's grass over there. I can't reach it. Here, let me stick out the end and that'll pick it up. Uh, we already got 118,000 liters in here, already up to 125 now. So, can you do grass? Oh yeah, can you do it easily? Oh yeah, can you hire a worker? Let's find out, let's get it in the field, hire a worker. Yeah, yes you can. Yeah, that works just fine. You can mow, mow a whole, f move. You can mow a whole field doing like this. Ah, that's what I'm talking about, that's a frame drop. Why am I dropping frames? I have a 4090. I am interested to see how this worker is going to turn around on the end, though. There's really no in rows done. Just a little bit here and there. Well, they certainly missed a little triangle back there, but that's nothing that we can't go back and hit ourselves. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Mowing and doing all the good stuff. 
That's awesome. Next, let's talk about poplars and sugarcane. So we could do kind of the same setup here for poplars and sugarcane both. First up, let's show off poplars. We're going to go with a maybe 10 meter unrealistic. I think that'll work. Let's go with blue. Branding is fine with me. I will, however, go for an absolutely ridiculous green setup. Let's open the pipe, get that pointed towards our trailer, and turn on the harvester. Now we've got poplars. And remember, you can do this at 50 meters if you want, but I think right here's working just fine. Yeah, there's 20,000 Lee. Oh boy, it's a little bit squirrely, especially with, with uh, just everything that's going on right now. How fast are we harvesting this? Jeez, that's 50,000 liters already. 60, <laughs> 70. Oh, I love it. All right, let's swap it out. Let's go for a sugar cane header. There we go. We've got that. We've got sugar cane over here ready to go. I've gone 50 meters with the sugar cane header, by the way. You can see the blue all the way out there. It's so dumb. It's so dumb and I love it. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing wakes me up in the morning like harvesting sugar cane at 50 meters. Uh, we've already got 100,000 liters of sugar cane, by the way. 200,000 liters of sugar cane. 250. 300. This is a small field. How much sugar cane's on this field? Turns out it's about 2.1 million liters. As a matter of fact, it's still processing. So it may take it a hot second. There we go. 2.17 for this field right here. And I was wondering why the trailer holds 5 million liters. Of course. I decided to dump it all out on the ground. It's not as much as I thought it would be. So this now brings us to our grape harvester and our olive harvester. Now these don't have unrealistic uh, harvesting capacity or like wits, but they do have unrealistic capacities. It's only 100,000 liters, but it's really... It's, it's really just fine. I mean, for one, they go 150 miles an hour, so, you know... You can't hate on that too much. Let's go ahead and unfold it up and let's turn it on. And, and then it goes. It harvests at 25 miles an hour, which ain't bad. It's enough to kind of keep it, keep it straight on for the most part. And because we have a center working uh, camera now, we can use that. Come down to the end, spin it around, find the next row that we need to be on and so on. Look at, oh, I'm already stuck. Well, look at that. <laughs> well, this is my point. This update makes like doing grapes so easy and uh, these are fully fertilized and everything. And look, I'm still getting, only getting, what, what is that? 1,300, almost 1,400 liters by the end of two of these rows. Yeah, 100,000 liters is fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. Had to go for a gold olive harvester just cause I wanted to. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck already. All right, new camera. Yeah, that, that works pretty good. That works pretty good. Now remember, uh, you can't just hire a worker on these things. You physically cannot hire a worker. So this is not adding anything to that, but you can harvest a little bit faster, meaning that olives and grapes may actually be worth doing now. And there's a couple other things that have been added to make these even easier. First, we got our mulcher. Now this can be used in a normal standard non-crazy uh, capacity, it's still got a working speed of 25 miles per hour, so at least that's fine. But we can go with a 4 meter, 10 meter, or 16 meter. Uh, they've also taken care of us and given us the working woods for these as well. But remember, you can mulch in the field, which is the way I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, let's go with uh, all of that, crop guides. Let's go with a, a green, yellow, yellow works. And let's go toothpaste. Now, nothing crazy going on here. We've just got the mod itself and the base game Fent 211. Nothing out of the ordinary. Let's unfold so we get our working wit there. Drop it down, turn it on, and now it will mulch everything within that path. Can you hire a worker? Yes, you can. So now, I'm sure a lot of you guys do not mulch your fields after you've harvested them. You have no excuse not to do it now. This makes it so easy. Yeah, let's go. Same thing kind of goes for subsoiling now as well. So we've got our vineyard disc here. Now it's modified off of a base game one, but uh, this can be used instead of a plow. And uh, let's also say it's suitable for grape and olive farming. Cool. So let's go in here. I'm going to go with a nice owl that hurts my eyes blue and chrome. Then we have our working widths. This is 1.5 by standard, but we can go with 4 meters, 10 meters, or 16. Let's 
choose 16 for sure. Uh, crop guidelines, let's go with green here. Let's get ourselves one of these. Should be right around my tractor. There we go. So we're on this field, the same one that we just mulched. We're going to grab our subsoiler here. We're going to unfold it so we get our lines. We're going to drop it down. And now it's subsoiling. It's subsoiling everything that we have harvested. And now it will do it also up to 25 miles an hour. This is one of those things where will these work with the tractors that we've got? Yes. But maybe should you use something a little bit bigger? Yes. <laughs> so that you go 25 miles an hour. You could still use a small tractor, though. Unrealistic farming. Ooh, look at that brightness off the back of that subsoiler. <whistles> go for it. Use it. Have some fun. Enjoy yourself. Uh, this, is, this is working a little bit too well outside the lines here. But it's working great. We're subsoiling, man. That's awesome. Lastly, we've got our pruner. Now, of course, we could get the regular one here. If you've got all your normal stuff, eight miles an hour. You could go with those, by the way, if you want. We're going unrealistic. Uh, I like, I like, and fast. Fast is good. Uh, let's go with a uh, LED orange and let's keep orange going. Chrome orange. But the thing is, I'm not going to get one of those. We're going to get two of these. Same tractor, so no wild, crazy trickery, nothing like that. One on the front, one on the back. Get into the field, go ahead and unfold both of these. They should almost line up about where you need them to. Let's turn them on. I don't, I don't know if I've actually like pruned before and, and like had to, but there we go. We could get just right almost. I mean, it's a stretch for both of these, but it is working. We are pruning both of these. Oh, 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 oh. You, you do gotta be just about right, but it'll work and it'll work just fine. Well guys, that is it. That is everything that you may have missed from version five of the Lizard Colossus Harvesters Pack by Chris S and Riley S. If you have any questions, drop them down below and let me know how you plan on using this pack. It's insane. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like on it and get subscribed if you're new. That way you never miss future farming simulator videos like this one here on the channel. With all the being said, just hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.